Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video on the channel. So, as some of you know, you maybe saw my short video that I released on Monday. Well, it was Monday, on my time. I have actually moved, so it has gone pretty well, well, actually very well. So everything has gone like successfully, so I'm very happy with that. So in the next episode, or... Maybe in the next episode, after the next episode, I will be doing a video where I will be showing my new studio. So, I'm re re really excited to do that video. So, I have a lot of plans coming into the future. But as I said in the last episode, my collection, no, in the Woody mod video, so two weeks ago, I said that my collection has gotten so much bigger and that I will do a video soon on that. So, now this is the video where I will be showcasing off my newest Toy Story collection of all the Toy Story toys that I have all, all the movie scale figures, I have some super small action figures but I, I think I will take that in another video but in this video I will be showcasing off the movie scale Toy Story toys so let's get into the first one and also I'm sorry I'm super tired today so I may look terrible and I may sound terrible so that's why, but here's my uh, first Toy Story toy that I was showcasing. Now I forgot to show my decent store Buzz, but that's because he's in a port because I'm modding him. And I also forgot to show my Jesse Penny Buzz, but because that's because both of them are in ports. So that's why I didn't show them in this video, maybe in another video or something like that. So the first toy up here, we've got an intergalactic Buzz Lightyear, the second Buzz Lightyear ever released by Thinkway. So, it, it works pretty the same as the 1995 Buzz Lightyear, besides that it has a few d differences, but they have like the same look, pro uh, no, not really the same look, but they have like the same body, not the same colors, but I really like this because it's really cool. I found it on eBay for a cheap price, maybe like a half a year ago or something when I just started collecting Toy Story toys. I'm really happy with him, so when I bought him, his wings were broken, but I have fixed them, so I'll show. So I have done a an, done a video of how to repair the 1995 Buzz wings, or from an intergalactic Buzz Lightyear. This that was my uh, latest video. So if you want to know how to repair them, please go and check out that video. That video. So I have fixed these wings, and I'm really happy with it. So I simply used a. Uh, Dental floss and um, super glue. So this is how they work. Via pressing pressing this uh, red button as always. So showcase you also from this side. One more time. I think this is so funny. <laughs> All right. So he has a basic helmet. Nothing real special. A basic. Think way helmet is it does not lock so it's just like this. So let's go on to this uh, laser. It is pretty the same as the 1995, but it is the noise is a bit different. So this is how it sounds like. And he also lights up when he talks or makes sounds. So let's go on to his phrases. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace to infinity and beyond. I come in peace. I'm stationed up in the gamma quadrant of sector four. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace to infinity and beyond. I come in peace. So that's uh, basically his phrases. And you can also. Uh, go through them at once by by spamming his button. So, so and oh, one other cool thing is that he has a wrist communicator. This was actually the first boss that ever had a wrist communicator, which was able for the people. So, the second boss ever released, and it already had a wrist communicator. And it is also super cool because when you press it, it talks, and it, this communicator lights up. So. You're gonna see how it looks like. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Come in, Star Command. 
I think this is the coolest bus ever made. I just love it. So this is the coolest bus you can get from the markets, and it's pretty cheap if you buy it in, in a, like a condition like this. It may cost like twenty dollars, but if you want it like in a box, it costs a lot more, like a few hundred dollars. It could, it could cost a few hundred dollars. I see like auctions that go for, and they end up like being three hundred dollars. So his his box is very expensive. But if you get in, in this condition where it is a, a bit beat up, you can get it for a good price. So, this is basically him. And he also has a jetpack right here. And he should be able to fire things from this. But, when I got him, he did not have any missiles that were in this. So, he can't sell the fire anything. But he's still pretty cool. So. Let's go on to the next buzz. Up in the gamma quadrant of Spectre 4. Exactly. The second uh, Toy Story toy is also a Buzz Lightyear. It is a white collection Buzz Lightyear. So it, it is the Wave 2 of Thinkway collection series. The newest wave of the collection is the Wave 3 called Signature Collection. If you didn't know that. So this is a white collection Buzz Lightyear from 2010. He's in a really good shape. I got him for only... $80. He was mint. He was mint in box, and it also came a an uh, old Disney store Zerg. So I'm really happy with that purchase. So here are his phrases pretty quickly. He has his uh, toy mode and uh, space ranger mode. So let's go through his toy mode phrases. So that's basically them. So this is the attempt of Thinkway trying to make the most movie accurate Buzz Lightyear. I don't think they did the best job, but they did the best they could. So I will be soon uploading a movie accurate Buzz Lightyear project. Not yet, but maybe in a few months, months or something like that. I don't know when, but one day I will start making a movie accurate Buzz Lightyear because I don't think this is the hundred percent. Movie actually, well, we can't never get a hundred percent, but we can definitely do better than that. For example, Buzz Lightyear the movie has fully open eyes in turn mode. This is half open eyes. It is super easy to get on working. So I'm pretty mad. Think way that they didn't do that, but I won't mod this boss because I will keep. I will just keep him in mint condition because it's pretty rare. It's a bit rare. So here also his uh, here is also his risk communicator. And his laser, it is movie accurate, so yeah, it has the same sound as in the movie. And he can also rotate his arms. Pretty good, he's really poseable. And um, here are his wings. They light up. And make sounds. So let's go to his uh, space ranger mode. This is like a space ranger and he's like living, which he was also in Toy Story. I am Buzz Lightyear, space ranger. And he responds to you when you talk. He doesn't know what you're talking about, but he responds when you make a noise. I'm stationed up in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. So, and we just say, hello, Buzz. Are you ready for adventure in uncharted space? Hello, Buzzy. How Full are you doing? Infinity and beyond. Hello, Buzz. How are you doing? Local law enforcement, it's about time you got here. My ship has crash landed here by mistake. So, and also, if you scream, uh, if you make really loud noises, like, Buzz, what did you do hear me? Spaceship, it'll take weeks right. to repair it. Buzz, what you What was that? Not to worry, a space ranger fears nothing. It also does that when you talk loud, but if you do even more loud, Buzz! Now, now, no need to raise your voice, I can hear you perfectly fine. So that's pretty funny, and he also reacts, interacts with things if, if you uh, example with the risk communicator. This galaxy needs my Yes, I need to rendezvous with Star Command. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Sheesh! Come in, Star Command. So, he talks to Star Command when... My ship has run off course to Sector 12. Do you copy? So it talks to Star Command when you have the risk communicator open. Why don't they answer? My communicator 
seems to be malfunctioning. So that's a cool feature, and when he presses laser, he looks at it. And I also forgot to mention, well, you have already seen it as a head motor. I said something. Look out! So it is pretty cool when he moves his head when he interacts with things. So the last thing is also his swings, how he interacts with them. Hey, when, this place looks familiar. Have I been here before? When you open it. I could fly around this room with my eyes closed. And then if you lift him, it will make flying sounds. So that's also cool, and sadly this boss uh, doesn't have a second part of the helmet I actually used Hello, my friend. How are you today? for a Buzz Lightyear restoration because... You, my so friend, are one of my favorite life forms. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. So we, if we would, would have had the second part of the helmet, you would hear a breathing sound from Buzz Lightyear. And if you would have opened it, who was saying... <coughs> <coughs> How dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet! My eyeballs could have been sucked off their sockets. But sadly, this not, does not have the second part of the helmet. Because I used it for another boss. So I will maybe get another one another day because it is pretty cool with the helmet. So let's get into the next Toy Story toy. So the third toy is a Lenny the Binaculars from Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2. So I really liked him and he's cool with his floppy eyes. So he was like a few binaculars that they could look through. But you can't suddenly look through these because then his eyes wouldn't be you couldn't you wouldn't be able to see his eyes. <laughs> so, but he has floppy eyes, so it's pretty cool. So you can also oh wrong direction. You can you can spin it so he could start walking. He's very cute, and he's like never been used. I got him. It is a McDonald's uh, 996 um, Lenny, I think. So I didn't go. Well, I didn't exist in 1996, but I got him from a seller on eBay for a good price. So I'm very happy with this. It looks awesome. So this is my movie accurate Woody progress. So he's not done yet. So I replaced him with a soft and huggable head. Because it looks better, so I will also so so I painted over some glass on his head, so it will look like more movie accurate. But another than that, I think the head looks pretty good, and it is a decent store body because I like it more. He has he's like a bit more thinner, so I like it. And I also like the jeans because they like I think they they are like real denim jeans. He's not done yet, as I said. I will also replace the. The vest on him because it is not movie accurate, definitely not. I removed the voice box of Cam because it will give him a, a movie accurate voice box via a um, programmable, pro programmable <laughs> sound chip. But I replaced the belt on him, so he has, he has a from a budget to Woody from two uh, no from 2014, yes, from Toy Story 4. So he had a lot more movie accurate belts, and I also. Um, uh, paint the holster here and take this fake ruby off and place with it with a real plastic ruby so it will look a more mo a lot more movie effort and paint this with gold around here so that's like how far I came I've changed out the belt and the head so I'm pretty happy with him and he will be better in the future so this is basically him just right now so here I've got another boss ledger and this is actually a very, very rare boss. He goes for a lot of uh, many hundred dollars on eBay. So he started. I firstly bought. He's he's from year two. So let's just start that he's from year two thousand and ten. From he was a limited edition boss. He was only made for a year. Then think why stopped making him. Nobody knows exactly why. But it is from the wave two. So it is the same wave as the. White collection buzz as I had, but he has a awesome utility belt, which looks awesome. So they go for many expensive prices, but I got him in this condition. He had a utility belt, so he did cost like um, maybe eighty dollars on eBay, which is a okay and okay buzz a price for an 
uh, for a utility belt in this condition. Well, I know that he doesn't have a utility belt. Just let me continue talking. So he looked like this, and I was like, "Hmm, what if I like buy a used signature collection buzz and change out the parts?" So this buzz has quite a bit a long story. So. I bought a signature collection puzzle that looked like this, besides it didn't have a utility belt. So I changed out some parts. There's a video in the description, I can put a, put a car in the corner right here if you want to watch it. So, um, uh, yeah, so then I repaired it, but I wasn't happy enough. So then I have done more job of cam. So what I did was, because I wasn't happy enough with the wings, because I had only changed out the arms because his wrist communicator was really really hard to open and you had to press pretty hard to get the laser working but I, I it wasn't real it was pretty hard to change out the wings so look when the wing is like this and you can't really get it in well of course you can get it in now when I'm recording but I think you guys get it so it was pretty hard to get the wing in, in because it Pop, popped out all the time so then I decided to do a big big job so I started unscrewing this buzz I unscrewed the card that said it is in that's in himself so the motherboard then I disconnected any everything took out the mother motherboard placed it in this buzz and then I connected everything back, so I connected the utility belt, the, and, well, actually on the utility belt, and, uh, but then I connected the wings to this boss, so he had a lot better wings, and he looked a lot better. So I was super happy with the result of him. And, um, I haven't placed the head motor back yet, because I have some plans, which, which I, I don't really, which, requires that it doesn't have a head motor but i'm super happy with him so i changed out the bodies but they still work so look i am buzz lightyear i come in peace this is an intergalactic emergency buzz lightyear to the rescue there's a secret mission in uncharted space i love that phrase to infinity and beyond i am buzz lightyear and i'm not fully done with him yet so i will paint him a bit more because so it will look a lot better. He looks already a lot better. He looks like almost new. I think it could be worth like over three hundred and fifty dollars. Well, it's based on where you live, but it's around three hundred and fifty dollars. So I will paint him so he is not completely done. And I and I will also chrome paint him in at the utility belt because it's uh, it's a bit peeled here. So now I will be showing you his utility belt. So he has a lot more utility belt sounds, but that's a few. So here we have his uh, space ready mode, but as I said, I haven't uh, set his head motor back on its place because I have some other ideas as well. I can spoil it already. It is about stop motion, and then it is a lot easier to move his head without the head motor because then you can break it by mistake. So that's why. So now I will show you his space ready mode. <coughs> And he also hears me, he has a lot better microphone because this signature boss has a, had a lot better, so I also replaced it. No readout yet if the air is breathable. I better keep my helmet closed. So, even if talk this... No, he doesn't hear me now, but I'll, if I talk with this noise, I think he can hear me. Boss, do you hear me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Who's there? So it's a pretty good microphone, so you can hear me really good. I am Buzz Lightyear, Universe Protection Unit. I've been equipped with the latest in multi-purpose utility belts. So I'm really happy with this Buzz, he's extremely cool. So. Alright Ranger, it's a code 5. 
So it's a bit different to the normal bot because it talks like a lot more angry and like a, like a real space ranger. Stand back while I power up my laser. So the normal so the normal collection bots could like talk like this. No Rudolph gear is there, it's breathable. Just turn it back. So the normal collection bot would just talk like this. No Rudolph your ear is breathable. I better keep my helmet closed. But this is No Rudolph your the air is breathable! Better keep my helmet closed! Well I maybe uh, talked a bit too loud, but <laughs> So I will show also a few of his uh, utility space belt Ranger. phrases and sounds on, in a space range mode. Initiated full perimeter sensor scan of sector one. Excellent. Moving on to sector two, proceed with scan. Activated anti-gravity servos. Good thinking, Ranger. So that's pretty it. So he's a really cool toy. I really like him. He's like one of my favorite buzzers. So let's move on to the next Toy Story toy <laughs> before this video gets too long. So now I've got a Mattel Rex here. I think it's the 2020 web version from Toy Story 4. I really like him because he's really movie accurate. Even if the, if the purpose of Mattel wasn't even to make movie accurate, he's very movie accurate. Because and the funny thing is because. He doesn't have a voice box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, as you, some of you know, Thinkway made collection Rex, but it was just Ill for a limited time. It was in 2010, and then they stopped making him in, during, during Wave 2 White Collection. And they stopped making him, but he had a voice box and he, his head moved. But in the film, he doesn't do that, so I don't understand. Because Thinkway tried to make movie accurate things. But then they gave them a voice box, which they doesn't have in the movie. But and the Disney store Rex is, well, the um uh, collection Rex looks pretty much of the movie. But the thing is, is that he has the voice box, which makes him not movie accurate. And um the Disney store Rex has the same problem. It has a voice box. Please just give us the same toys as in the movie. It is cheaper to make a toy without a voice box. <laughs> so, but this is the... I really like him. So he's from Mattel. And he's pretty cool. So, oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. D. This is the best thing out of, of this Rex. He has a lot of utilities you can place and a lot of different clothes. So if you want to recreate the Toy Story 2... Um, uh, a scene where Rex loses in the Toy Story 2 scene where he loses in Zerg in the Buzz Logic game in Toy Story 2. He has this helmet on him if you want to recreate that z scene. And if you want to recreate the Toy Story that time for God scene when Rex becomes that robot and they and the Rex can't control his hands. You can recreate that, and also from Partisaurus Rex. So the Partisaurus Rex from the Toy Story tunes, same as the That Time for God. So he's awesome because you can recreate all of those scenes, and I really like that. So this Rex is awesome, and he's also very cheap for that, for those many things. He costs like only eighty dollars which is an awesome price so i really recommend you guys to get it and no i'm not sponsored by Mattel. i just well now i'm i am giving them chances to earn money but i'm not sponsored by them but i just say that this rex is awesome and Mattel has done an amazing job better job than this store and think way so, sorry i'm so tired as some of you know as i told you so here i've got a metal metal slinky dog i really like him in many ways, so he's from Toy Story 4, and when you're moving, goes afterwards. So he has a little string that retracts back. Well, that's not movie accurate, but you can take it 
of when it wants, and this uh, spring will still stay. So I think this is the most movie accurate link ever made, even if it, it is not 100%, but it's it is close to that. And it doesn't also have it, uh, and it doesn't have a uh, real leather ears, but you can mod them to him. So he's, he's easy also to mod. So I really like this Linky. He's awesome. He checks back slowly, and he has also wheels under his legs, so you can easily move him. It sounds terrible. Never mind. But this is also spring loaded, so <laughs> it looks pretty funny. So, yeah, I just love this Slinky. So, let's go to the next toy. So, this is a um, um, older Disney store, Zerg. So, this is the one which came with the white logo, but it was not made with it <laughs> because this was this store and the buzz was uh, from Thinkway but I got this that way so he, don't, he didn't have a cool box back then but now today he has a really cool, cool box when he sold in a decent store but uh, this was like made in 2010 so at that time he didn't really have the most movie accurate box but today he has a pretty close to the movie so he has an iron, iron blast that you can't take it off and has a cape. You you can't take it that you can't take that off either. But you can press this and he loads his um he loads his balls. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mine's a bit broken though, so it makes a bit weird sound when you press it. But it still works. So these are his phrases. So the differences are from this from the newer. What I've noticed is that the new one has the new digital toy detector, and the new one has a bit different phrases. He has a, he doesn't have as much as this this guy has, and the and the sound quality is a lot better on the new one. This is like a bit muffled voice as the old digital uh, toys had, and this to also talks slower than the new one. So that's the difference. This is a lot. This has a lot more few, uh, phrases. It doesn't have a tie detector. It talks a bit slower, and the voice is a bit muffled. So you're gonna hear his phrases now. So I think those were his phrases. So let's get to the next one. I'm very tired, as you, some of you know, so I might sound a bit boring. Those three of his uh, fingers are stuck together, so you can't you can't uh, move them individuals. But his uh, um, <laughs> pointing thumb, pointing finger is individual, so it's a basic decent talk style. So. Let's get to the next one. So the last one is a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head from Play School from 2019. It was uh, they were sold from thing from Play School to promote Toy Story 4. So they were in the markets for only a short a short time and then they were never able to be sold again. So but I got the these from eBay for a decent price. So I'm pretty happy with them. So 
They are pretty movie accurate. Well, the most movie accurate that has ever been done by toy companies. But I know that people have done awesome uh, 3D printed mods. Uh, Potato Head uh, 3D printed mods. Now, there was a another collection Potato Head that was made by the had a voice box. And he didn't look that movie accurate. He was like pretty fat. And like not real well, he's always fat, Mr. Potato Head. But that one was a lot more fatter, and he had uh, electronics. He didn't have the right parts, and he also had a open mouth, which he doesn't have in um uh, toy mode. He has a closed mouth like this. So I plan to maybe make a more movie accurate Potato Head in the future, not today, but. <laughs> Not someday in the future, like uh, maybe replace the ears and um, change out the ears and change out the hands from an old um, original Mrs. Mr. Potato Head. But this this was from Toy Story 4. But these are very good, I think. I like his beard, his nose, and his eyes. They are not separated, sadly, but they are still pretty cool. And they also have different parts in here like glasses another mouth and things like that I'm not going to do them now but that's basically the Mr. Potato Head I they I think they are real movie records and also a Mrs. Potato Head this is the most movie record Mrs. Potato Head ever made because I think we never did actually a Mrs. Potato Head collection I don't know why but that's just it so she's really accurate I think their mouth and everything, so I really like her, <laughs> and uh, her pots pop out all the time as they should do. And I like the flow in that you can take it off her hat if you don't look, want to have a hat on her. Yeah, so that's basically it. She looks terrible without her mouth. <laughs> yeah, but that's basically all that I have for this video. Sorry for being a bit lazy. I'm real tired because uh, for private things and such other things like that but thank you for watching this episode and i hope you still enjoyed it even if i was, was super tired during the whole episode and i will see you again next time see ya and bye